was the sixth of seven children, and uh, I was uh, molested from the time I was about two or three to six or seven. And um, when I was ten, I just had given up on life. My dad was very angry and a drinker, and my mom was very religious and fearful. Uh, when I was six or seven, she took me aside and told me what I was doing was wrong. And I didn't know how to stop a 16, 17, 18 year old guy from doing what he was doing to me. I absolutely had lost it. I was abs literally screaming and crying out to the Lord either save me or kill me because I'd made a promise year after I became a believer that I would not contemplate suicide any longer. And um, so trying to keep that promise at this time in my life, I really had given up again. There was no way I wanted to keep failing my family and my husband and my children and my life. After we moved to Georgia, I went to a deliverance ministry in, in Atlanta, and um, through that I realized that a lot of my anger was based in my mom's not protecting me as a child. After the deliverance um, and asking forgiveness and, and forgiving those in my life that had caused the hurt, I, I was set free. I really was free, and that was the first part of the deliverance of fear. Fear has many faces. I had transferred my fear onto my husband, the fear of my father onto my husband, and I was terrified of him and everybody else. I was, I was just terrified. So um, it really released me to be able to talk to him, to, to not be afraid to say how I feel, to even in a restaurant uh, ordering something, I was afraid to pick the wrong thing. No reason. It was just that so much anger revolved around meals in my growing up. It, it opened up a whole new life to me that I didn't have to be afraid to order what I wanted or pick out in the store what I wanted or be, be late for five, be five minutes late. I was afraid to be late with Walt and for no reason. And um, so it, it was a whole life, of, a way I've never realized I could live, I could make choices, and I could be happy. I was allowed to be happy.